girl twins in the future. I can tell you what to expect. Okay. Don't be out here crying on me, Ms. Yonke. I get emotional. What is up? And welcome back to another one of Yonke's vlogs. It's your boy, Missy Yonke, and the lovely Miss Yonke. And we got a little Andresito. But today's video is gonna be kind of a stay at home video. As you can see, we're gonna be eating, so it's gonna be more like a mukbang uh, Q and A type of video. Yeah. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it with the first question. What is one big advice for recent married couples? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's one piece of advice you would give? Mm -hmm. Never go to bed angry, ever. Try to like figure it out mm -hmm. or resolve it before bed. Never go to bed angry. One thing I would say I recommend as a piece of advice would be like, um, don't be prideful in your relationship. You know, like you guys are working on it together as a team. There's no reason why you should be resenting your partner in any way, you know, like if you have issues or whatever, like bro, just, you know, swallow your pride and say you're sorry. You know, at the end of the day, it might not even be your fault, but that sorry can literally just fix the whole issue and just get you guys to be on good terms again. Yeah, being prideful hurts relationships. Yeah, that's for sure, for sure. Would you say I'm prideful? No. No? I don't try to be. I think one time you were, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Junk over here doesn't like losing arguments, so... I, I guess that's pretty prideful for That's not good. I know. I'm working on it. <laughs> really? I'm <laughs> just joking. For the next question, we're going to be doing... Uh, this one's not really a question, but it says, Are you guys ready to be parents? Mm -hmm. I think I'm ready to be a parent. Honestly, like, I'm not too nervous about it. Like, I mean... Struggles come with being a parent, and I know that, and I'm conscious of that. So, with that being said, I would say I'm pretty ready. I feel like I'm ready, but I'm scared. Like, I know I can do it, but I'm still scared. What are you scared of? Like, that's a whole child that, like, we're in charge of. Like, we're responsible for that little human being. Like, it doesn't scare you a little bit. I mean, yeah, it scares me, but... It also is going to be fun if you think about it. Because it's going to be a, like a whole bunch of new experiences. That's true. Like we're going to make new memories. We're going to make good memories. And then growing up, we're going to be like, oh, remember when we went through that? Imagine when the baby's like five years old and he can start remembering things, right? Imagine the things we're going to go through. And then when he's a little bit older, he's going to be like, oh, dad, I remember that. Or, oh, mom, I remember when you used to do that. Or, no. Mom, remember that meal you used to make me when we were little? Hey, but don't oh, start crying. But don't start crying. You know I get emotional. <laughs> it's just an example, you know? No, I know, but like, just being mom, like, ah, I'm ready to you. Okay, next question. Don't be out here crying on me, Ms. Yonke. I get emotional. Okay, a big question you guys are asking is if the baby was planned. <laughs> so, hmm? No, I'm just kidding. So the baby was planned in a way, but like, you know, it wasn't really planned. Like we were, I guess we were trying to have a baby, but we were just letting it happen whenever it was gonna happen. Like we were not saying like, okay, by this day, like if it happened in a year, if it happened in three months, it had, like whenever it happened, we were just gonna be cool with it. Yeah, we started like December. Like that's when we were like, we stopped being safe. Yes. That's how we pretty much planned it. I guess, because we didn't really... Well, we didn't really plan it. We yeah. pretty much... Mm -hmm. We let it happen on its own, but we, we... just came to an agreement to let it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Alright. <laughs> just came to the agreement. So it was planned and it was it like... But we were, we were starting to like wonder, because... It was like a bunch of months passing. Nothing was happening. Like six months. Like, yeah. yeah. We're like, maybe it's <clears throat> not meant to honestly, be. Yeah, we were just like, it's not meant to be, you know, it's God's timing is going to be perfect and... And it was. God's timing is perfect. Bro. How many kids are you planning to have? Mm. Well, mm. 
<laughs> so ready to be baby yogurt. So ready. I don't know. How many kids do you want? Max, max, like the most I'll have is four, to be honest. Four? Yes. But I want to see how it is first. You know, I don't want to say, oh, I want X amount of kids. You don't really know. I feel that. <laughs> like, I want a lot of kids, but everybody tells me, like, wait till you have your first one. Yeah. That's <laughs> And I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Yeah, because first we have to see with baby yogurt. But also not every kid is the same. That's true, but we have to see how it is, how we are as parents, how the whole whole thing is. That's we'll why we good. don't need them. <sighs> you stress me out. Why do I stress you out? Cause I'm like What are you how why are you worried about being a parent? Why does that worry you? It doesn't worry me. Like, I know I can do it. It's just, it's a big thing. Like, Bro, we parent each other all day long, all the time. Think um, about it. You look, you look after me, I look after you. That's basically what you're doing except for little human. And we're just surviving. I eat every day, do you? Well, yeah. Luckily, gracias a Dios, right? Well, so the baby is going to be no different. You think having a husband is not a big responsibility? No, it is, but... What if I get lost in the store? Huh, who am I supposed <laughs> to call? What if I get lost in the store, my phone's dead, and I don't know where you park? What do I do then? We came together. But maybe we're not shopping together. I don't know. It's just... It's different from mom, I feel like. Why? I think what scares me the most is the birthing. The birthing part? Mm-hmm. Well, right like, there. Like, I don't know what to expect. Well, I can tell you what to expect. Okay. No lunch. <laughs> I think four. Four? Four. I think four. for me, it would be maybe like four. Yeah. Max. Mm -hmm. I can't do more than four. Depending how the economy and everything is at that time, you know? How we're doing. Mm-hmm. So this question says if we still have roommates and we do not have roommates anymore. It's actually been a long time. It's been almost six months that we have not had roommates. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not that we got in an argument or anything like that. It's just that our roommates decided that they got a really good job opportunity in California. And we talked it over and we we're like, yo, you know what? like. Don't pass us up, you know, opportunities like this don't come often. So take it. Basically, they just gave us the house. Yeah, they they moved for an opportunity and well, we got left with the house. We got left with the house, but we're not really worried about it, you know, because we honestly enjoy like the, the like living by ourselves part. Like it was something we had never really experienced because- Like fully, fully. Yeah, I mean, we, We've lived together on and off, you know, but like uh, we've had roommates this whole time. So it was definitely a new experience living just us two. And honestly, it feels good. It feels good when you're just independent in your own house. Like, makes you feel good about yourself, honestly. What do you think? It does. Like, I feel like you have more intimate time, I guess. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have more us time. Yeah, that's true because, you know, when you have roommates, it's a little hard because you have to be sharing everything. Mm -hmm. So like you can't really just be kicking it in the living room, you know, because or like maybe they'd be in the in the kitchen, or like we want to be in the kitchen, you know, but they're like probably watching a movie or something, and you know it's rude to be like, yo, can you guys get the fuck out? Like, nah, hell no, you guys no. have to share. You guys have to share equally, you know. So it's just more intimate this way. Like we can have like we can have movie nights where we can just like cook together, even though I don't cook much, but. You know, like right now we're having dinner together and usually this is when we just talk sometimes. Sometimes we just kick it on our phone when we need to be stressed from the day, but we usually throw some conversations in there. And sometimes we honestly just watch a movie like, I feel like our eating time is our deep stress time now that we get alone. Yeah. You know, like, we know that eating is like, we're like tablet kids kind of now. <laughs> you know? Like we we'll sit down to eat, but like we'll be watching a movie. <laughs> Most of the time, yes, but sometimes when we have to talk about things yeah. or just have a conversation, we're just focused on us. Yeah, sometimes we're just focused on us, sometimes we're just talking. But our roommates are 
good to us and we love them. And they're doing really good in Cali, so we're doing good, they're doing good. It's really weird living without roommates now though. Yeah. Because it kind of feels in a way. We've been roommates for like two years, right? So you guys, so you grow a bond, like technically they're like, they start feeling like your siblings in a way, you know? Like so when they move out, it feels kind of lonely. It's like the first couple weeks, it's so weird. Yeah, we still miss them. Yeah, I still miss them. Because it was cool, you know, you come home and you have friends already chilling. Like, every day was a new adventure. Now we have a new adventure. Now we have a new adventure. And it was so weird because they moved out. Mm -hmm. And then like a couple months later, we got pregnant. Pretty much. That was crazy. Wait, we didn't even tell you what we were eating. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Well, this was like a little casserole. What would you call this? It's like baked potato yeah. casserole. With beef. I just made it up mm. as I went. Pretty good. Let me tell you. This is not a question, but I picture you with girl twins in the future. <laughs> what? Imagine two little girls Whoa. and a little boy. God ew. God ew. Are you getting a mom car? So. <clears throat> A mom car. As you guys know, I don't want to get rid of my truck anymore because I want to build that truck a little on the Tito, right? And I don't want to get rid of my Mustang because my Mustang is one of my dream cars that I worked really, really hard to get. And I know I have to make a sacrifice, right? But I would rather sacrifice and work more or hustle more and try to get money for a mom car that sell the cars because I also do want to collect cars as something I do in my life, right? I've had a lot of cars in my life and I have, have had to get rid of some of them and I kind of regret that, obviously. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, yes, we are going to get a mom car and I have been working a lot of hours to try to get a mom car, but honestly, it's only me working now, so it's been a little bit hard and I've been trying to come out with a maybe some new merch i'm not sure what i need to come out with guys but i want to come out with a product for you guys some, something you guys will like something you guys will use on a daily or something you guys will just use for a luxury i don't know like i want to come out with the merch again and i just want to make these drops but it's kind of hard but if i do make these drops i want to know if you guys are interested in getting them or if i make hoodies if i make shirts if i make sweats i can make all sorts of things honestly Honestly, I wanna, since I'm not working, I kinda wanna take over the store and help grow it again, as I'm not gonna be working, like. Make your job? Yeah, like making my job, as well as like, you know, the house and the baby, but I really wanna get, like, into the store again. I think we should, honestly, like. Yeah, make merch for you guys. But I wanna know, what do you guys wanna see in the store? Yes. What kind of merch do you guys want? Do you guys still want car merch? Cause kind of started drifting away from that so it could be anything yeah i don't know if we should make yonki more like a like a just a brand name more over just cars and stuff like that but that's all still a work in progress guys but yes we are still trying to get them all yes we're <laughs> in the works yes in the works do you plan to get married once baby boy is here or wait until he's older Man, that's a tough question. We haven't really talked about that, honestly. Yeah, we were waiting to get a house. Yeah, that was the plan. The house. But we never planned on having a baby before a house. Like, we <laughs> kind of planned the baby, but we didn't think about that. That's true. We do want to get married for sure. Yeah. But just weddings are so expensive. Well, that was the thing, but like, if we yeah. have the money, yeah. we will do it. Honestly. Well, once we have the money for it, it's like, just the saving up for everything part. Yeah, it's a little bit hard, especially right now. Like, you have your baby coming, have to buy a mom car. I'm so pretty sure you're gonna have to get like all the clothes for like your pregnancy. Like, bro, it's hard. It's hard, and this is real life. Like, you know, it's kind of hard to hear, but real life hits all the time. I feel like. It's all gonna happen at its own time. Yeah, like it's all doable, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But like, sometimes you just have to take one thing at a time. One thing at a time, and just keep pushing. But we'll get there. 
Okay. To answer that, we don't know when we're going to get married. But we're going to get married. But we're going to get married. And that's for sure. <laughs> Who will be with you in, in the delivery room? Um, me <clears throat> and the mom, no, you said? Mm -hmm. And the baby for sure is going to be there. You know? mm, the doctor? <laughs> the doctor has to be there. And you, you want to be there? Well, yeah. Alright, cool. I'll invite you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no matches. I think that's everybody that's going to be in the delivery. Yeah, I don't want too many people. The first thing that happened, I'm just like with you. A ver si no me desmayo, a ver si me cacho en tu mamá. Mamá's gonna be helping me, not you. <laughs> She'll be like, puff. Ahí se cayó. <laughs> Imagine, I really hope you don't think. <laughs> okay, this question, I feel like people ask me all the time and it says, will you make a baby registry? I'm actually making one, I just haven't shared it. Like, I'm in the works because like, I'm still trying to figure out what I need. I'm a first time mom. Help me out here. Yeah, I don't even know what babies need to go like. Like, I, so far I have like the bassinet, a couple like... I'm gonna just wait till the baby's born so you can tell me. What? <laughs> I'm, just I'm for sure gonna post it within this week or next week once I'm done. For the last question, it says, has our relationship changed now that you're pregnant? Hmm, I feel like it has, but not in a bad way. Like, I feel like we're more connected in a way, which is kind of weird, but like... Why is that weird? Like, you feel what I feel, which we kind of used to before, but now I feel like you feel it more. Mm -hmm. Especially when I'm sensitive, like... I feel like... Finding out you were playing it as a brush closer together. Yes. Because it's kind of like and we have a really healthy relationship already. We have the same goals in mind. We want to teach the baby basically the same things in life. So I think it really did bring us closer together because like even though now, like last night she was sleeping and she kept waking up. Like I, I'd be waking up. Like even if she doesn't know that she's gonna die. It's just, I don't know. It's just my body like hears her or knows that she's awake and it like gets up. Like, I don't know, I think it's part of that instance. I'm not sure. I do be waking up sometimes when you're up. I'm like, why are you up? Like it's because you thought some turn it off. Well, I'm like a roasted chicken. I gotta roll. Yeah, you're a rotisserie chicken. That's what it is. <laughs> well that's the only way I can sleep. Okay, so we hope we answered most of the questions you guys had. A lot of the questions were repeated, so that's why we didn't really go through so many. We really appreciate all of your guys' support. Like, literally, it's been nothing but kindness, and we appreciate it a lot. Yeah, honestly, guys, thank you for supporting us through this pregnancy because it is our first time, you know, dealing with all this, and you guys are being very helpful, very kind to us. So, thank you for that. And, uh, Thank you guys for watching all the videos. Honestly, we've been trying to push out a lot of videos for you guys because you guys want to join us on this pregnancy journey. And we have been trying to bust out videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. So if you haven't caught on to what days we're posting, it is going to be every Wednesday and every Sunday. The times may vary because depending on what we're doing that day. We do appreciate you guys, like I said, for watching and thank you guys for turning on those post notifications. Thank you guys for hitting those subscribe buttons. We're almost at 25K. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And before I let you guys go, I do want to say one last thing. We are having an everything must go sale on the rest of the items in the store. We do have a couple Yonke shirts and a couple stickers. We have we, what, this one. We do have this one available in the store still. And then we have another red one. We have the blue stickers, the pink stickers, and the Mexico flag stickers, guys. Everything is buy one, get one free, so do not miss out. But with all that being said, this is your boy, Mr. Yonke. And Miss Yonke. And baby Andresito. And peace. <laughs>